Hey YouTube, I thought I would document my findings here a little bit. So I'm in the process of uh, processing chestnuts and I picked about, um, I think about seven pounds this year. And um, it's too many for me to, to you know, eat fresh. Well, maybe it wasn't, but I'm, I'm experimenting with drying them out. So I put these in a dehydrator for, um, these are about three and a half days. Uh, about 105 degrees Fahrenheit, you can hear them kind of crack. Hear that? They're not completely, there we go, that's one of them. The shells are still kind of a bit leathery. But what I'm noticing, whoops, and this is not a good example, is that um, the little paper inner skins on them, for whatever reason, if I kept the shells if I kept them in the shells whole like this and dried them, they tend to want to do this, where the skins are just stuck on there and I can't seem to get them off. However, I had a couple where I cut an X into them and, and dried them out like that, and those did an interesting different thing, which is the, uh, the, outer, the outer peel kind of peeled back and then the inner skin kind of puffed up and you could just take it and crush it, and then you ended up with like a perfect chestnut like this. And here's what those look like. So like they come out looking really clean like this. It's pretty neat. So my findings are uh, either peel them, peel them before you put them in the dehydrator, or if that takes too long, which I mean it does if you've got lots of pounds, just score and exit them, and then let them dry out like that. And then you end up with a perfectly usable, like basically rock hard, I can't squish them, chestnuts. And then those are good um, until who knows when, probably years. And then I've also ground some of them up into flour. I threw these in a blender. It came out pretty good. There's some, uh, some little chunkier bits there, so I might have to like sift it out if I want something finer. I think I'm gonna make some, I don't know, we'll see, pasta or maybe some uh, muffins out of these because they don't have any gluten in them and um, they, uh, they're, they're, on a, they're on the sweet side. If you've eaten chestnuts, you know, sweet chestnuts. So basically that's my learnings, 105 degrees Fahrenheit for about two or three days. If you cut an X in the top of them, you should get perfectly usable chestnuts. And then after they're dried to really hard, like rock hardness, um, you can store them in containers for probably years. So great uh, little tip for harvesting. And uh, this will be a helpful reminder for me next year about what to do. Because I tried uh, a couple different things. I tried peeling them, tried not peeling them. I tried partially peeling them, and then I tried a couple different temperatures. I tried 100, 105, and like as low as my Excalibur dehydrator would go, which was like, I think 95 maybe, 100, something like that. So a little bit warmer, uh, and an X in them seems to be the winner. And then I just kind of put it on a 24-hour cycle, just check it like, yeah, like I'll, I'll put it on 24 hours, check it at lunch, put it on 24 hours, check it at lunch. And about like the third day, they seem to be pretty well dried out. And then you're all set. So hopefully you can use this tip to save your chestnut harvest too.